Hello, Capricorn. Let's get into your messages. Okay. Capricorn, I see the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. This is about perception. You may be having heightened perceptions at this time. Highly sensitive to energies. Okay. Nine of Cups. Okay. Which fulfillment? This is confidence. A lot to do with manifestations coming to reality. King of Cups. Okay. Nine plus one is ten. Ten Cups. So you could be this King of Cups. Someone who works with a community, like a group of people. This is in some healing capacity. Okay, the doctor, the practitioner, the healer. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of healing here. Okay, and the Ten Cups is fulfillment once again. A boost of confidence. Ten of Wands. Something is boosting you up. Okay, or you're about to have that boost. Ten of Wands is like having to put in so much work. Taking a lot of responsibility in this work. The star. Healing. Building capacity. Okay. Uh, the star is Aquarius energy as well. Now the High Priestess is back again. It's like the High Priestess has something to say. Five of Pentacles. Okay. There seems to be someone here. Could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, and then Scorpio in your energy. The Five of Pentacles is something that is like someone feeling left out. These are abandonment wounds as well, a neglect. And the star is healing. A lot of pouring into oneself. Okay, like caring for self. Three of Swords. Hmm. Okay, the Three of Swords is like heartache. Whatever this is, is making this person to feel heartbroken. Eight of Pentacles. Looking, looking into something, researching, someone may be looking for you. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy, Earth. So this could also be about, <clears throat> about your manifestations or someone is manifesting you. It's like someone has something to say. Someone wants to speak. The emperor. Okay, this could be uh, someone in a leadership position. Or this could also be you in this leadership position. Someone is bossing up here, like being guided to boss up. Step up. To the, to the next level. The star and eight of pentacles. Eight, eight. The eight of pentacles, the shadow side of the eight of pentacles is definitely like what I'll call borderline OCD. Okay, like that thing. And 
the three of swords is connected also <laughs> it's actually connected to past energies like family of origin so this person could be looking into family of origin issues or having revelations about this the emperor is number four it's that ground energy the red is like the root chakra a lot to do with hmm. force a lot to do with force okay six of swords move into karma waters so this person is looking for a way to calm their minds their mind space you could also apply this as an energy of the past okay uh, six plus three is nine swords so this is something that caused unrest anxiety or you could be experiencing that at this time okay with this high perception you could be picking up on energies at this time hmm you're picking up on some people's energies. I don't think it's yours. It's like these people are wanting to talk. They're wanting to say something to you. You did move to Kama Waters from this. Something that would have cost you a lot of anxiety, you left it. Okay, Ten of Wands, the Moon, the Moon is the subconscious, subconscious fears, burdens, a lot to do with the dark, this person is looking down as they're moving, and they're ending that cycle. Seven of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Shadows. Feels like something is coming up from the shadows at this time. It may feel like there is a lot happening in the below. Okay. Two of Wands. So this thing may be keeping this person in this place, like building up momentum from here on, okay, from this place, there seems to be a change. There seems to be a, a complete shift in perspective that is needed or that you are doing the, there we go the hanged man so this is the shift 180 there's something that is shifting here for you so let's get more a shift of paradigm the thing is um, even if you don't have Pisces in your chart you're connected to water in many ways heaven so there's something that it's like it's two bits of you Capricorn one but one part of you is very much earth the other half is water so this in itself can make you to go in like this again and again. It's like one minute you're on the move and the next you are in here, like seeking perspective, looking at things from a different angle. Okay, or this may be someone who goes into freeze mode as well, which is, again, that is another way to put it. In terms of a relationship, any kind of relationship this could this could be a situation that has made you to be this way or this person to be this way where they've had to 
freeze, like go into freeze mode in order to cope, in order to have clear thinking. Now, of course, if this applies in a relationship, that means it's affecting another person in not the fairest of manners or, you know, in that way where they feel like there is that balance. This could be the case. Queen of Swords. Truth. Okay, so I feel like there is that shift that is coming for you here. Could be regarding a relationship. I'm getting a lot of water. Or it could be someone having this shift towards you. But yeah, this person has definitely gone into freeze a lot. And you're having to call in truth regarding something. Could be about... This person's capacity, or it could be that this person is actually building capacity at this time. They're waking up to a lot, you see that, and they're moving to calmer waters. This person could be an air sign as well. I have Aquarius energy, Libra energy, and yeah, Aquarius and Libra. Okay. But they're waking up to something about family of origin and it, or it could be you as well and or wheel of fortune things working so it feels like you are having a shift in paradigm regarding a situation that has kept you in the shadows this shift in paradigm is like seeing things differently, seeing things like an eagle, like from a very a bird's eye view, a, a wider perspective. Now, if this is a relationship, whatever kind of relationship I'm getting, it could be a romantic one or yeah, then you're getting to see more of how this person operates. It doesn't mean enabling, but it's just like, yeah, it's part of the holding space. It's a big part of holding space for yourself because you will see that this journey at the end of the day is all about you. And most times we are guided to other people that can or that will open up those bits of ourselves to see that we have been emotionally unavailable towards ourselves, you know, in some ways, in many ways actually. And then you begin to do, you begin to move. Because the purpose is fulfilled or is being fulfilled. Whatever this is may have left you in this place. Okay, and now you are getting to have a big shift here, somewhere around here to do with shadows, shadow work, release of the fact that at the end of the day, we only have ourselves to look at, right? As painful as that sounds. And if at the end of the day, it works, perfect. If it doesn't work, guess what? You have still gained and you continue to be grateful for that. Even with the painful parts of it, you, you're grateful for the capacity you have built because at the end of the day, it builds you up. Sometimes you can put in your 10 out of 10 and something just does not work. And it's non, like it's nothing to do with you. Now, you could apply this Capricorn again as regards family of origin. Or in whichever way it resonates. I feel like this, like this 180 degree shift is what is propelling you. 
and this queen of swords mm -mm -mm. this queen of swords and is not heartbroken no but there's a way they operate that is like mm, i see things more clearly now and like you get to see things if they're going to work out or not or like what is the clean cup or what has potential to grow and not only potential so you could yeah you may have seen a lot of potential here maybe you're someone who just looks into potentials of people and places and situations and most times they do not meet up to that so it's not only seeing potential for the queen of swords it's like can you meet up to that can you meet up to what you say can you do that can you walk the talk that is the queen of swords practicing what they preach so it feels like yeah there's someone who has let you down or even a group of people here uh, regarding potential versus what manifests or what is manifested now it doesn't mean that you are again you are right on track with the wheel of fortune fortunes are in your favor page of swords so this could be someone watching you Someone could be watching you in this Queen of Swords and they know that maybe, they, yeah, they actually want to speak, but they don't feel like they're up to it. Yeah, this is someone who is used to coping a certain way and they just, maybe they're scared. Okay, and I'm not saying that from a derogate, derogatory manner. Maybe they're truly scared. Because that is how they've learned to cope. And there's really not much you can do than to keep going in your truth. Four of Swords and Page of Swords. It's like they've gone in to strategize. Yeah, this person is really good at strategizing more than acting. See that, the Two of Wands. Could be that this person right now. So you can apply this in the sense where you have gone through your shadow work and you're out and you're in this queen of swords and this person is currently going through a major shadow work and they're getting to wake up to all of this and there's something they are seeing as well about you that you've actually seen stuff you've told them stuff But they just didn't see it and now you're in this manifested state of the star build your capacity building your capacity and here they are you also are resting okay after all of this work it's a lot so you may be guided to rest you may be coming into something new, maybe some information, reflecting. Someone doesn't like conflict, they avoid conflict. So this is like a true avoidant personality. Yeah, they don't like conflict. They would rather watch in silence. Capricorn, I feel like someone is scared to approach you. <laughs> oh, Eight of Swords. Yeah. There could be two energies here. Okay. I see Knight of Cups. An offer of love. Let's add up the Swords. 12 plus 1 is 13. 
Someone is going through a major transformation and shadow work. Now, right now, they want to tell you, they want to speak to you. But it's like something is, there's still something regarding conditioning like how do we conditioned a lot to do with conditioning there's love the lovers knight of cups four of wands this is what they want They want to come home. The sun. This is the highest vibration. Hmm. The sun and the star. The sun is divine masculine energy. It's also Leo. Someone wants to be home. Someone wants to come home. 4-4 four, four is grounding. Okay. Feel like you're being guided to ground yourself. Regarding something. Could be revelations. Or again, this person. Could be a divine masculine and they're grounding to... And they're having more revelations about what is happening. Knight of Swords, fast communication. So you could be getting a text message here. The Knight of Swords is also hastiness or like it's a lot to do with speech. So I always connect that card to some kind of communication where we are like in a hurry to communicate something. So this is something you can be aware of regarding this. Okay. Let's get some messages from here. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And that is coming with the shadows. While I don't see the hermit, yeah, it does feel like hermit mode. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love, imagination, and humor. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Uh, I feel like this is about, it's more about release of discipline than like upholding it. I'm feeling that. Now, this loneliness and forgiveness, you could be the one on that journey of also like loving on yourself and knowing that the divine is with you and honoring that interconnectedness, even if you're not in the same physical space, knowing that you are indeed not alone. A lot of what you go through feels like it's alone. And the divine wants you to know that you are not. Okay. This may speak to someone in particular. Okay. Now, I did mention that I picked up two energies. If it's regarding a love connection, the three of swords is like a, yeah, a three-way thing. So there could be a something coming in like something new it could be a new energy it could be but it's a love energy it could be a new energy like it could be in the form of a person then there is one that is much older including 
or and or family of origin situations. Now what feels older is what you've been coming out of. There may have been something that triggered you to go like deeper into the shadows and do a lot of unblocking. Stay grounded with this. And I feel like you're having a lot of revelations. But these revelations are not coming like, yeah, some of them could be secrets, of course, uh, with the high priestess, mysteries, death. There are also revelations that feel good, like that are lighting the way forward for you with the sun card. So it feels like a mixture. So expect the best, no matter what. Because the divine has got you. Summer. There we go. Bask in joy and light. Direction guardian is choose your path. Okay, so this is the world card, ascension. We have the four guardian angels on the world card. The fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So that could be significant as well. Guardian Angel is here. And I feel like this card is talking to that. Okay, so I'm going to read that. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So, know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Summer. Rise up, open your wings and shine. Bring your projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Summer has, been, has always been recognized as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers are in full bloom. Animals are enjoying the freedom of the wild summer days and nights and people are taking holidays, basking in the sunshine, and being lifted energetically by the light and warmth. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestor guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward, because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is inspiration directly from the divine. When the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. This is on page 144. Okay, Capricorn, um, I'm going to stop here for now and I'll come back with the weekly readings. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.